Brent here with Bees Cichlids. So I wanted to update you guys today on the status of the fish room. I finally got in here, organized some things, um, tucked some things away. I've been moving some fish around and I've been working on some breeding projects. I've moved tanks into the house and I've kind of put things in the fish room that should have been put in the fish room a while ago. So pretty pleased with the progress. Uh, I'll share some more updates with you guys on another date and I'll show you how my fish room is looking right now. Here I took my angels. I've got four remaining good angels and I put them in this I believe it's a 40 tall. It's kind of a weird shape but um, they seem to be digging it so far. I put some flame moss in there so I'm hoping that that kind of <clears throat> propagates and, and spreads throughout the tank but that's pretty much all that's going on here. So I got this 100 gallon tank. Somebody delivered it for me from uh, around the time the quarantine first started. So that's a new thing. And I put some plants on top of the hood. So um, my 150 is looking pretty decent. Um, I've got an assortment of fish in there. I'm sure I'll be changing that up. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to be putting uh, my giant Grammy in the 100 that I just showed you guys. Uh, her name is Gertie, well, his or her, I'm not sure whether it's a male or a female. And then um, I'm also going to be putting my albino channel cat in there. It's a couple of 75s. I put them like this so I could um, have enough bricks for both of them. I only had enough of the cinder blocks for... Well, I had six cinder blocks, so I had to split it between two tanks. So for the time being, I've got an assortment of cichlids in the one, and then some rainbows in the other, uh, and um, some of my zebra parrot mates, and um, I've got some rainbows in there, etc. But uh, that's what I got right there. But uh, both tanks I'm going to be freeing up for some breeding projects I got going on. I just have to decide what I'm going to put in there. So that's that. Moving on to my 125 rack. I've got my monsters up top and I'm going to be pulling out my large albino channel cat, which I estimated about 15 inches long. Um, been growing pretty quickly lately. I've been feeding her some pond pellets as well as the cichlid pellets that I feed with the cichlids. And they don't care much for the pond pellets, so they don't really touch them. Um, she mows them down. And then just my other monsters. My bottom 125 I made into a silver dollar tank. So I've got an assortment of silver dollars. I've got the regular silver dollars. Uh, the red hook thin stripe silver dollars and then wide bar silver dollars in here. And then I've got loaches, um, some yo yo and some zebra loaches. Here's a yo yo right now. Really like these guys. I know that they don't really <clears throat> breed in the hobbyist aquarium, aquarium but um, I'm hoping that they do for me. I prevented it, or I'm sorry, I provided a lot of pipe work here. I've got um, some structures, um, a lot of flame moss that I'm hoping to carpet the entire aquarium with. It's growing pretty good so far. And uh, hopefully with all those conditions, I might have some uh, fry out of that. But we'll have to see. I'll do some more research, figure out what kind of water parameters I might need. And then that leaves my 255 gallon rack. So, at the bottom I have Coptodon Snyder Eye in here and uh, I have about five or six of these guys and I, the mating pair took up the middle and then they keep up, they keep the rest in the corner here. So uh, very protective and I'm hoping that they have their fry pretty soon so, um, so I can have that. Uh, we have a Breeders Award program for my local club and uh, I was hoping to breed these guys and have that for that but um, due to the quarantine that's going on now uh, that won't be happening so 
Um, my best guess is I'll just have to wait till next year. But got the pair now. See how aggressive they are? Um, these guys are really cool and they're also a care species. Um, I've got a lot of, um, I don't know, if it's algae growth or some other sort of thing on the outside of the tank and I just have to scrape that off. But uh, this isn't exactly a show tank for me, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, there's Lazarus. These are black piranha. Very good looking boy. Um, always hiding in the pot though, so I gotta figure out something for him so that uh, he feels more comfortable coming out. Probably find a tank that I can have with dimmer lighting. My Lania Perugier tank. Um, again, not really a show tank, but. Um, and then I also have some bristle nose Plato fry and, and then the adults in here. Uh, sword tank, orange swords. I um, took this tree that I pulled from the ground and I've been soaking it in my pond for a while and I threw it in here. So it's got roots and all. So I'm really digging this. I think it looks great. Um, you can let me know what you guys think. And then I put the span tail in here. He wasn't getting along too well with my, well, my cichlids were kind of picking on him. He was, he's been doing all right with them for the longest time. And now he's been starting to miss some scales. And so I put him in here. And these, these orange swords are so prolific that uh, he just kind of munches on babies every now and then. And um, otherwise he eats the same food as them. And he's, he seems pretty content in here. Nice looking fish. This is one that um, I had in my pond last year. He's um, one of the fry that I got and that I actually kept. Uh, this tank just has a couple of mystery snails in it right now and I think just a single bristle nose. Um, I had my Amica squad bins in here for a while and, and I lost them. And then I kept um, my uh, live bear, Zenataka Doa Dry in there. And I moved them to a 30 because I'm going to breed them out. And so now I think I'm going to keep this as an African breeding tank for a while. And then I've got a few different um, types of cichlids down here, African cichlids. I've got a, some sort of peacock. I'm not sure if it was a ruby peacock or what it was. Um, there's a Coptidon species down here, and then there's a Livingstonite species down here. So that's about it for my fish room right now. Um, I'm probably going to be adding some more tanks in here when I get wraps up. And um, so right here where I have my 75s, I'm hoping to put a 60 rack up right here. Um, hopefully I can fit three tanks high. I have over eight foot ceiling, so I'm, I'm hoping that that'll work, but if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world, I'll just do too high. Um, here, I'm thinking about maybe doing a 30 rack, where I'll have like 30 going the long way, so I can have two stacked next to each other and do that three high. Um, 60s don't fit in here, it's just, just shy of being able to fit a 60 in this little space in between the step and the wall. So that's a little frustrating because I want to put the 60s here. Uh, either that or I was thinking about a 10 gallon rack. So do maybe like four or five high and, um, and then having them side by side, maybe three to four um, wide. So that's that for now. I mean, as you guys know, I'm always kind of doing new things in the fish room. Um, the racks are here to stay though. It just kind of depends on what I decide to put in here. And I hope you guys enjoyed my short tour.